One man has officially taken the term rabid sports fan to a whole new level. Oklahoma City Thunder GM Sam Presti was on the receiving end of some pretty scary phone calls. Plus, LA just welcomed Paul George and Kawhi Leonard to Los Angeles in a really cool way. Stick around for the details. Hey everyone, it's Devin Howard. If you'd like to stay connected with me, definitely find me on Instagram at Devin Howard. And of course, subscribe to the Fumble to never miss a moment from your favorite teams and athletes, then tap that bell for notifications. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get into the scary incident Thunder GM Sam Presti encountered recently. Sometimes sports fans have a tendency to get a little too invested in their teams, but it doesn't often result in a police investigation. But that's exactly what happened to Presti. So we all know that the Thunder shocked the entire freaking world when they traded Paul George to the Clippers for Gilgis Alexander, Gallinari, and several draft picks. They also stunned every Everyone when they let Russell Westbrook go to Houston for a few more draft picks. That trade was finalized a few days ago, and the Thunder posted a farewell message to the longtime player. It's obvious there isn't bad blood between either of these star players and their former team, but obviously the departure of these athletes has left some fans in a state of disarray. The Oklahoma City Police are reportedly investigating phone calls to GM Presti that contained death threats, insults, and even bomb threats. Apparently a man, who identified that he lives in Virginia, decided to call up Presti and begin hurling insults and making dangerous remarks about what he'd do to Presti, Coach Billy Donovan, and the entire Thunder front office. The man left two voicemails, and in them he says, quote, Y'all traded Paul George, but kept Raymond Felton. You kept Andre Robertson. Do y'all not love Russell Westbrook? I hope he kill everybody. I want to kill everybody. In another message, he insulted coach Billy Donovan and said that he would blow things up if he went to Oklahoma City. He also emphasized again that he would go after and kill Presti and his family. The chilling voicemails were a clear cause for concern, so naturally the police got involved. They're currently looking into the origins of the call. In a statement, the Thunder said, quote, we defer to the authorities and they can handle the situation as they see fit. Okay, now that has got to be utterly terrifying. I get being bummed out when your favorite players are traded, but to take it so far as to be personally offended and motivated to kill is absolutely astonishing. Trades are the name of the game in the NBA, and death threats are never okay. I hope this guy gets caught and faces a severe punishment. Meanwhile, back in Los Angeles, Kawhi and Paul are getting a taste of what life will be like right here in Hollywood. The two guys have already become the new face of the Clippers. They're a dynamic duo who will certainly make the LA team a champion championship contender. The excitement is already buzzing over here in the City of Angels. The Staples Center just unveiled a brand new billboard that honors the pair of players and welcomes them to their brand new home. Los Angeles is going to be a divided city with the Clippers and Lakers going head to head. The NBA is rating the Lakers as an average half point higher than the Clippers, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be stiff competition. George averaged 28 points and 8.2 rebounds per game in 77 appearances last season. He shoots 43.8% from the floor, 38.6% from the deep, and 83.9% from the free throw line. He's a ball hawk and averages 1.8 steals per game too. Kawhi, on the other hand, averages 26.6 points, 7.3 rebounds, and 3.3 assists per game in only 60 games due to frequent load management rests. He shot 49.6% from the floor, 37.1% from three-point range, and 85% 0.4% from the charity stripe. He's also a two-time defensive player of the year. We're gearing up for an exciting season in LA. Which team do you think will have the better season, the Lakers or the Clippers? Sound off in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and tap that bell for notifications. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble. See you soon.